Welcome to the channel, everybody. I am OGL Schmidt, and this is Custom Creator. Time for more four. What could be better, right, guys? Uh, this time, we're going to be looking northward. Northward is a band, for some reason, I thought this was a band that she started with her husband, who is uh, Hannes from Sabaton. That is incorrect. And Northward is actually a band she started with a Norwegian guitarist named Jorn Vigo Lofstad. I'm probably butchering that terribly. My apologies. Uh, but he played for a band called Pagan's Mind. I actually have one of their albums. It's kind of a high-octane, melodic, progressive metal type sound. Uh, but this is something uh, Ford had actually been wanting to do since 2008. Uh, she had been wanting to do a traditional metal album uh, because she had been doing like symphonic and progressive metal for so long. And uh, her and Jorn first sort of became acquainted when After Forever and... Uh, Pagan's Mind were both at the 2007 Prague Power Festival. And at the end of the, uh, the festival, there was like an all-star jam session with members of the band, including these two. And they kind of hit it off and were impressed by each other and wanted to do something together, which as I love. I love that. I love how music can create relationships, how just you know, jamming with another um, individual can make you, uh, you want to interact with them more, make you want to... Uh, cooperate and collaborate with them uh there on the channel there is a video featuring the highwaymen it's four legends of country music certified legends like all of them icons in their own right and they're just they're jamming together and they're all smiles and they're you know just enjoying each other's company and it's great to see uh i'm willing to bet that this i'm hoping at the very least that this all-star jam session felt something like that but just Stuff kept happening. Uh, you know, after Forever disbanded, Four started revamp, and then she had her health problems, and then she was selected for a night wish, and then she got pregnant. So one thing after another kept happening, but finally, these two were able to get together and record their album. Uh, I wasn't sure what, uh, what song to go for, so I just went for the one that had the most views. It's got an official video, so hopefully it won't get blocked. But yeah, I have no idea what this sounds like, but I mean, it's four, and if I remember right, Pagan's Mind has some serious chops behind them, too. So let's see what these guys have. Absolutely nothing, because I have no volume. Am I going to edit that out? Of course not, because Danny would be so disappointed in me if I did. So now, let's see what these guys got. a really solid groove there but uh, just wanted to comment on a couple of things uh bonus points for Jorn's motorhead t-shirt rock in paradise lemmy so i've heard floor do just about everything i've heard her do things that have an operatic sound to them i've actually heard her do actual opera with phantom of the opera uh, i've heard her sing very aggressive heavy metal and uh, most recently with revamp which was just oh my god that was just a uh, it was a uh, a bladed possessed locomotive just barreling down carving up things in this path and i've heard her of course with nightwish which is symphonic and heavy and dynamic and emotional so i've heard for just about every context so it's kind of cool to hear her in such a basic stripped down setting like this uh dude's rocking a les paul there i think uh, danny you can correct me in the comments if you like now marshall amps i like the uh Again, this is for a very catchy riff. It's got a great groove. And uh, before did a uh, sort of an upward slide 
that reminded me of uh, Disdain from Revamp. But here, she just sounds like she's having fun. I mean, Flora's voice is seemingly without limits, so there's always a bit of freedom uh, to her vocal performances. But it just sounds like you know she's just doing whatever the hell she feels like without having to be constrained by uh, a concept or a melody or a song structure. You know, she, again, went into some uh, more aggressive stuff. She even dipped into what sounded like some uh, fry. It's sort of like, uh, it's just a very, very expressive sound. And you don't have the, the giant wall of sound to sort of take your attention away from it. So it's a, it's a nice change. I'm not saying that I would replace my Nightwish CDs with this, but I can definitely see how something like this would feel very uh, freeing and very fun after being involved with bands like Nightwish or After Forever. Casual, very, uh, uh, very in the moment. I'm gonna go back here. It seems like the verses start with uh, the more playful sounds, and then sort of the in- intensity escalates. Uh, I love Bjorn's fills there. Like I'm not sure if the song is gonna have a solo, but if it does, I bet it's gonna be a, a killer. And uh, obviously, Floor as a singer is absolutely amazing. But she's just an amazing front woman, too. Like, I love her hair pulled up and kind of back like that. It almost has a Mad Max look to it. And she has such an expressive face as well. So she definitely you know, draws both the eye and ear uh, to her. All right, let me hear this again. Yeah, those parts right there, I like how the music drops out and she's just sort of doing whatever the hell she feels like with her voice. I think uh, <laughs> I think sometimes it's called vamping, but, you know, she you know, was in revamp, so of course she's going to be vamping. This was to be, what, re-revamping? I don't know. Either way, it sounds great. And again, just I love her, uh, the playfulness of her performance as well, physically.
Okay, so I have to comment on the solo. As predicted, that was amazing. He is one of those guys that can probably shred for days. But there, again, like the vocals, like the arrangement, his approach was almost uh, playful. Uh, he used space. The entire song, really, has used space very well. Space between riffs, space between vocal lines, space between his uh, guitar run. Uh, like he was, looked like he was using like a pedal to assist with some of the bends there, and he's got a, a good, thick, robust sound that is perfect for this kind of stripped down rock and roll. So yeah, like he, I'm sure he could like whip out sweet picking and arpeggios and stuff like that, like nobody's business. But no, he was uh, just very, uh, again, very. Um, Jimmy Page or uh, Angus Young, much more polished, I think, than either of those guys, but still sort of had that playfulness and that freedom that you would expect. Uh, I like how he used his, uh, yeah, essentially like a type of tapping there without getting into Van Halen territory. But yeah, I'm very, very impressed. See, now I'm going to have to go back and check out some Pagan's Mind, just because I'm really impressed by his guitar playing. So th these two are a great duo together. Super talented guy, people. So he is essentially to the guitar, it appears, what she is to the uh, to the vocals. I also loved how she seemed to be enjoying his solo a lot. So, I mean, I guess, again, when you're, I'm sure they're miming this performance. But yeah, when you're in the uh, same room with a musician, or even like on stage or anything like that, you feed off their energy. Uh, I did theater way, 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 way back when, when I had a full head of hair, so it was a long time ago. But yeah, when you're on stage with someone and you're kind of, you know, you're feeling it, you're sort of feeding off each other's energy. That's a, a fantastic feeling. And, you know, talents of this caliber, you know, they're they're feeding off of each other. Oh, that was great. Ah, the high five at the end. Uh, I love to see that. Um, again, uh, Flora worked very, very hard to get to this point. So I, it's great to see her at a point where she can, uh, she can do covers on YouTube. She can do a solo album. She can do, you know, side projects like this. I, I love the freedom that has come from her. The success of her partnership with Nightwish. Um, it's uh, it's good to see her happy. Um, I know recently she had to stop touring because she was touring while pregnant and doing like a lot of stuff. Floor just really comes across as one of those people that doesn't half-ass anything. And you don't get as good as she does by half-assing things. Uh, but you have to be careful. Because otherwise, you do the old saying, the star that burns twice as bright burns half as long. Now, fortunately, she's been burning for a while. And uh, I hope she's got a good support group around her that can sort of, you know, encourage her to take these breaks. But I, I really enjoyed this. I, I, I love the more playful sounds that they were using. I like how her delivery in this was as rhythmic as it was melodic. Just a very a lot of very punchy lines, and then she would go into like a more sustained sound, especially on the chorus, where it was like echoes of that beautiful Nightwish type uh, aria, and then she would go into almost like a grittier uh, rock and roll sound. I mean, it just goes to show you, Four can sing whatever the hell she wants, however the hell she wants to sing it. Uh, so once again, now I this is another album I have to mark down and put on my list to purchase. I, I like having physical copies of stuff. And now I'm going to have to check out some more Pagan's Mind. So, <sighs> yeah, guys that suggested this, I'm going to try to put this in the description, you guys that uh, brought this up, because I really do want to acknowledge you. But uh, I keep forgetting because mental health is real. But thank you guys so much. I love this. Hopefully you guys did too. Uh, definitely more floor coming, more Nightwish, more uh, more everything. Uh, we've been taking a little bit of a break, but we're going to be back better than ever, I hope. Uh, thank you guys very much for sticking with us. Thank you for 
Look at that. Thank you for helping us hit a thousand subs. Just thank you all for everything. Take care of yourselves. You can take care of each other. For Danny Lee, OGT, and Custom Creator, I am OGL Schmidt. Everybody have a fantastic day. I'll see you around.